This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 6th of March. I'm James Spann, getting set for a nice warm-up today after a chilly start this morning. We'll check some of the Skycam shots around the network at the insane hour of 445. Goodness. That's the uh, Decatur Skycam overlooking the Tennessee River. You can see the lights glistening off the water there. Here's the Haleyville Sky Cam up in Winston County in northwest Alabama. And let's go way down south. How about the Daphne Sky Cam on the eastern shore of Mobile Bay? Everybody clear and cool on this early March morning. There's the water vapor satellite view. Got that uh, upper level system coming through the southwestern states, a trough moving into the Pacific Northwest. And ultimately, all of that will impact Alabama late this week and over the weekend. But this morning, it's clear and cold. And that is a great example and why this is not a one-number place. Come on now, you've got Gadsden at 28, but Birmingham 15 degrees warmer at 43. And the numbers are just all in between there. But everybody warms up into the 60s uh, later today. Around the nation, you see that colder air nosing down over the east, but again, after today, things look pretty comfortable for the rest of this weekend over the weekend. The good news, I don't have a lot of severe weather potential to show you. This is the uh, day two convective outlook for tomorrow. Low end 5% probabilities over Oklahoma. And day three, that's the only formal risk on the board. That's a slight risk, the standard risk for parts of Texas and far south Oklahoma. That includes Sherman Denison, Dallas-Fort Worth, Brownwood, and parts of the hill country. Rain for the next five days. Big numbers to the west. This is hinting that some folks in uh, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and North Texas might pick up four inches of rain. And around here, the numbers really taper off from northwest to southeast. You've got Dothan with nothing, and you've got Muscle Shoals with about an inch and a quarter. And really, the, the specific details of the weekend are a little muddy, but no doubt it's going to rain on us at times. We'll check the GFS. This is the 06E run at noon today. And there's the troughing developing out west down below that. Nice day today. Uh, we should be in the mid to upper 60s with a sunny sky. Tomorrow, we'll call it partly sunny, the high close to 70. And Thursday, mid-70s are likely as the thickness values are coming up. Cold air drops into the Rockies and a stall front is just going to make it rain over parts of Texas and Oklahoma and Arkansas. Maybe Memphis, but it looks like we'll stay dry. I guess you might consider a slight chance of a shower, but... Uh, Looks awfully small. And then Friday, you know, the, the, the primary jet is up there in Canada, and we've got this energy in the southwest, and every run is looking different. It kind of comes out in bits and pieces, and uh, you've got one piece coming out over Oklahoma. The upper low hangs back uh, over south Arizona. Uh, down below that, the stall front getting closer will bring in the chance of rain on Friday in the form of showers and possibly a thunderstorm. Heavier rain would be over the Tennessee Valley, if this is right, and I don't think it rains all day. And then everybody's got weekend plans. Well, that doesn't look too good if this is right. This is Saturday. You can see that upper low is located near Wichita and Tulsa. And we'd be in a pretty favorable quadrant for uh, showers and maybe some thunder here. Highs in the 60s. And again, it's not going to rain all day, but it could rain at any time during the day. No severe weather. And Sunday, just nothing changes. You can see that upper low is still centered over Missouri and we're in the moist axis and Again, occasional showers and thunderstorms are likely with a high in the 60s. Just kind of looks like a wet weekend. And then uh, Monday, we've got one piece of energy up over the northeast. We've got still the upper low west of here. And by golly, it's still wet, uh, if this is right. Showers and maybe some thunder. And then Tuesday of next week, still wet. So, you know, we're not saying it's going to rain every minute of every day, uh, Friday through Tuesday. But uh, at least on this run, it looks pretty wet. And by golly, if we do see this unfolding this way, we might pick up over two inches of rain. But again, we have seen some runs that are not this wet. And the confidence and the specific details are not that high at this point. We'll check the end of the forecast on March the 21st. Cold air, not really. Not on that look. Now, some upper forcing way to the north, a weak front passing through here, but there's no cold, cold air involved. And again, no sign of any late season winter mischief on this run. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren 
You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.